Hello friends, Rebecca here, the Dragon Librarian from Farmington Community Library, and I'm really happy to introduce a brand new dragon friend he just hatched last week. His name is Leon, and he is really excited to be able to talk to you guys about some fantastic books and join us in our discovery of finding amazing new things to read. So, like we said last week, for the next few weeks, we're going to be talking about books that were made into movies or TV shows and kind of comparing the two, seeing which are good, which aren't, which hold up compared to the original text. So the, the, the two that I want to talk about today are actually, it's really interesting because they are books that are written by the same author and they were both turned into movies. So this is a really famous uh, children's author, one of my personal favorites, and her name is Kate DiCamillo, and this first book is called Because of Win dixie I absolutely love this book. It looks like it won a Newbery Honor Award, um, which I can totally understand because it's a beautiful story. So this is a story. It takes place in Florida, and it's about this young girl named Opal who has just recently moved there with her dad, who is a reverend. Their, her mom left when she was young, and so she doesn't have a mother, and this is a kind of thing that she has carries a lot of pain in her about this. Anyway, so they, they're new to Florida, her dad's a reverend, and she is going to the grocery store when all of a sudden she hears this commotion and the, the grocery store manager is screaming at this stray dog that has come in the store and is just causing a commotion. And Opal, on a whim, decides to say, oh, hey, that's my dog, before they can call the pound. She takes the dog home, decides to name him Win dixie because that's the name of the store that they were in, and everybody just basically falls in love with this dog. And Win dixie just brings to Opal's life, and really everybody's life that he comes across, so much joy and laughter and friendship and discovery, and this book is just absolutely phenomenal. If you've ever had a dog for a pet that just was your best friend, or even if you haven't and you just want to experience that through this story, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal book. It has so much heart. For such a little book to carry so much heart is absolutely amazing. So there was a movie made from this book. And I have to say, I actually really enjoy this movie. Um, the cast for this story was perfect. They were just like I imagined in my head. There's Opal there. You can see her with the bike. And there's Win dixie obviously the star of this movie right here on the side. And he's smiling. And that's really funny because in the story, Opal is always talking about how it seems like Win dixie is smiling. So honestly, this dog, I know it doesn't look like the same dog on the cover. Um, but this is the exact, basically, image that I always thought of when I was reading this book for the first time. So uh, I think they did a wonderful job finding the perfect dog. This story has such a lot of heart, like I said, and it translates really well to a movie. So highly, highly recommend both the book and the movie. Obviously, I like the book a little bit more because that's just how I roll. Um, but they're both really good. So this is a really great combination if you want to read the book and then watch the movie and talk about it uh, with your family and see, you know, how you guys, how you guys enjoyed it. Phenomenal story because of Winn-Dixie. So the next one I want to talk about is also by Katie Camillo. And this is actually one of my favorite books of all time, hands down. I can't read it without crying. Every time I read it, I cry. And that is called The Tale of Despero. I love this book so much I can barely even I can barely even tell you how much I love it. That's how much. And this is the story of a beautiful story of this little mouse named Despero who is very different from his family. His family basically um, just wants to keep to themselves and eat the glue that's in books and hide and stay in the shadows. And but Despero doesn't want that because Despero, when he's up with his sister, um, chewing on the glue in these books he discovers that he can read and he falls in love with words and he falls in love with stories. Um, and this become, this causes him to be ostracized from his family. And because of this, he ends up meeting this young princess and they become really great friends. And this story is also the story of this princess and things that are going on with her. It's also the story of a rat named Chiaroscuro. And Chiaroscuro is different from other rats because he doesn't want to stay in the dark all the time. He loves light, beautiful sunshine. He loves it. So he has to try to go against the norm of his species also. And his tail 
intertwines with with Despero's and also with the princesses as well. This story is just so another book that has so much heart. Really, any any book by KT Camillo is just a beautiful story and has a lot of heart. I know it doesn't sound like a world changing book, a book about a mouse, but it really is because it's about kindness also. It's about kindness. It's about accepting everybody for who they are, even if they're different from what you might experience or, you know, or what you what you think is normal. Even if people are different, you got to accept them as who they are and love them for their differences, right? This story is just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Now, there is a movie made of this book as well, The Tale of Despero. And I have to say, it's very cute. I'm not a huge, huge fan. Um, the animation is really adorable. It's a cute story, but I think they tried to make it just a little bit too silly and goofy compared to the seriousness of the book. And yes, there's silliness in the book. I don't want to make it sound like it's not a fun book. It absolutely is. But I think they tried to go a little bit over the top with the silliness factor in the movie, um, and it lost a little bit of its heart in the translation, I think. But this is a great opportunity. Check out the book, check out the movie, see what the differences are that you can find and which, which one that you actually like better. Again, I might be a little overly critical because like I said, this is a favorite book of mine. Um, it's this one also a, uh, a Newbery medal. So um, maybe it's just me and maybe you'll watch and say, wow, Miss Rebecca, I watched this movie and I thought it was the best movie ever. Maybe you will. Um, but like I said, you got to try to find out. So there is a movie, there is a book, they're both fantastic. Um, well, the movie a little bit less so, in my opinion, but you might think it's, you might think it's fantastic. So give it a try and see. Sometimes there's books that you really love and you'd have no idea that they made movies about them. And that's, that's the case for that perhaps. So give it a try and see what you think. Well, that's what we've got for you guys today. I hope that they sound really interesting, the books and the movies alike. Give them a try. You can pick them all up at the Farmington Community Library. And um, thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of the week, friends. Bye-bye.